Cancer, welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. Welcome in. I hope you are doing wonderfully. For those of you who are joining for the first time today, I hope you enjoy your message. If you do, please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment down below. I would love to know how you're doing. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. You make what I do possible. I love you to the moon and back. Thank you for allowing me to connect with you once again, Cancer. So, my love, we're going to go ahead and jump right into your reading. Please remember that this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with your particular situation. If this is not your story, please do not force the details of your current experience into today's message. Take whatever is your story and that you resonate with and everything else just toss out the window, okay? If it's not your story, then it's just not your story. For those of you that do connect with this message though and this resonates for you strongly, I hope it provides you the clarity and guidance that you seek moving forward. We will be doing an extended reading after this general reading. Um, I will leave the link to the extended reading down in the description box below as well as pinned to the top of the comment section along with a link to my personal booking system in case you would like a personal reading done by me. But in the extended, we do go a little bit more into energies that present themselves during the reading. If you skip ahead to the end or if midway through the reading, you just are curious to see what we end up going into in the extended towards the end of our general reading before hopping over to the other side, we do talk about the reading as it came up with the messages and we um, we go into certain particulars. If there are people here, we go into things like their feelings towards you, um, how to proceed with them in the situation, what their intentions are with you for the future as well as what the outlook like in the long term for the situation is going to look like either with or without this person depending again on the way the message flows and any extraneous lingering um, energies right tower moments big decisions so again we'll go into it at the end of the reading all right so cancer let's go ahead and jump right in my love so just like in the previous readings we've done together i went ahead and pulled from the oracle myself but you and i will be pulling from the tarot together and i just have to say cancer okay um, I'm a little bit like, I'm a little shook. Okay. I'm a little shook just because it looks to me like you are, you are in this new era, right? You're in this new energy in your life and you've very decidedly created this new beginning, right? You very decidedly put your foot down in a very unfair situation recently so that you could free yourself to enjoy the people, the places, the activities that you want to do, right? Um, like a life where you can be selfless or self selfish, I should say. You've always been selfless, but now is a time for you to engage more in the things that make you happy. However, it looks like someone could be potentially trying to make either your new life difficult, right? Um, someone from the past is just they're trying so hard to keep you from spreading your wings and moving into this next this next um, chapter of your life or it's that residual problems from the past are still cropping up so what we have here is a change in the wind with between worlds so something big has happened all right let me just show you with change in the wind what we have clarifying it is message of concern and poverty along with judication judication came first which I clarified further and got message of concern with poverty. So this change of the wind, whatever it was, seems to have really knocked you off of whatever form of stability you were accustomed to. Okay, the, the level of stability that felt safe. Okay, for some of you, again, like with judication, this is a judgment, but, um, and not again, but, you know, judication can be a judgment, a big decision that was made, or because it is in a courtroom setting, could have been some type of divorce separation, a lawsuit settlement, something along those lines. That is the that is what this change in the wind is. And the thing is, is you are between worlds. So you are still dealing with the aftermath of this change while engaging with this occupation and child, right? This between worlds in the in the in the other world right if we can call it that was toil and labor courtship and despair so for for most of you this was about investing time and energy into a relationship or a partnership that was fruitless you would invest 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 put all of your time into it and came back with nothing okay but now for some of you right you're a single parent you, you for some of you this was a custody battle you gained access to your child full time or at the very least for the amount of time that you were fighting for um, you know, so that was a success, but again, it's like the amount of money you had to invest in order to, to, to show up to court and to make this happen and to close things off that has left you now feeling empty, 
impoverished for some of you, right? It was just, it was a huge price to pay. If you went, if you could go back, you would do it again and again. It's not even in question, right? But it does feel a little bit like things are in ruins. So either this is somebody who went out of their way to make this new life of yours hard to attain, excuse me. They made this new life hard to attain by, by, by kind of pushing you into a corner and forcing you to pull from all the resource that you had. And they were, they were banking on you not having anything anything left after this, right? In some ways, I feel like this person that you're connecting with is hoping that they've adequately made things so stressful for you that you'll end up coming back or wanting to do something different or asking them for help, right? But you're between worlds, okay? You're between worlds. And I see that you are very happy in this new life because where this is not a child for you, right? For some of you where this is not a child, this is simply a new beginning, Right, an opportunity, a fresh start at being able to spend your time doing things that you enjoy doing. That's your occupation, which is a dive. It's it, it's a um, it's a direct, it's a direct uh, contrast with toil and labor, which talks about working, 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 harsh conditions, never seeing the results from all the work you're putting in. Occupation says not only do you love what you do, but you would do it for free if you had to. Right, there's something irreplaceably fulfilling in your life now that was impossible to attain in the situation prior that now you have access to but that getting there and really preserving that source of fulfillment is becoming difficult either because of a person from your past trying to pull you back in or because of a person from your past that has no desire to bring you back into the past situation but just wanted to really twist your arm and make mo moving into the future really difficult really difficult near impossible right so let's see let's see what's what all of this is cancer what's all of this going on for cancer please because it's just i have no doubt here's a thing cancer i have no doubt that you're going to adequately move into this new future even if it's by the skin of your teeth you're going to do so comfortably enough where you can begin anew right that's that's out of the question of of course obviously um you know but the fact that someone would go out of their way to make things difficult is just a different breed of person queen of swords as your overarching energy so a very decisive individual you could be connecting with an air sign libra aquarius gemini you could have this also very strong in your chart but i feel like this is you cancer you having to break out of that mold of being so soft, squishy, and cute, right? And being so nice to everybody. And you are having now to break out the hard exterior and say, you know what? No, nope. no, nope. I have a new beginning. I have a new beginning right here at my feet. I have a new beginning, a new life. This child, this occupation, this job, this new opportunity, whatever this is, it's a brand new life. And you know, F you and everybody that looks like you, right? You're not gonna get in my way. Okay, this is your obstacle, four of swords. So healing, right? Healing from a situation that has required your attention for far too long. You're done with it. On your mind, you've got the three of swords, which is exactly this block, right? This block is the aftermath of the three, right? So whatever this is, whatever this was on your mind, you're still thinking about it. You're still, you know, kind of coming to terms with the fact that, that people can be this cruel or that situations can be so unfair or, you know, things that you didn't earn, things that you didn't ask for have presented themselves in your life that you've had to fight off and they threaten this new beginning. But the thing is, Cancer, you know that you're stronger than this. You know that you're stronger than this. In your heart, you've got the 10 of, of, of cups, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's between worlds. You're, you know, on the one hand, things suck right because you're getting rid of all the old garbage from the past and that feel free to personify that garbage if that garbage is a person then yes you're getting rid of the garbage right or it could just be a situation whatever it is to you but in your heart space you're you know there's no other place you'd rather be you feel complete you feel complete you your family looks exactly the way right now that you've always wanted it in the recent past you took a stand with this magician i feel like you knew what you wanted and you were fearless you are fearless in achieving it, you know, to hell with anyone that tries to get in your way. Coming in, you've got the three of wands. So if you've been waiting for something, it looks like it's coming in, okay? You see yourself as the eight of cups, leaving a situation behind, 
right? Really pursuing that 10. But the thing is, the 10 is already in your heart. So it's, it's already yours. It's already yours. But you're leaving behind a situation that has shown you nothing but cruelty. Right? Nothing but injustice. In your environment, you've got the Page of Pentacles. So I have to tell you, because we've got the Ace of Pentacles in your current place, in your current uh, state, as well as a child coming up in your Oracle cards. For some of you, this really is about making a sacrifice in order to be with your child, in order to, to earn your child back, in order to prove your competence. Um, for some of you, you just gave birth to this child or you're pregnant, right? Uh, there could be something very significant surrounding a child where this is about leaving a partner that you got pregnant by, you were planning on having the family life with this person, things fell apart, you had no other choice but to sever ties, but you feel confident about, you know, single parent life, right? There, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Better on your own than in bad company, always, 110%. You have plenty of support because you've got the Ten of Cups here, so there are people in your corner willing to help you, okay? In your fears, you've got this Queen of Cups, um, possible Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I have a feeling here, Cancer, that on some level you might be fearful that you've made the wrong choice, Right, I have, a, I have a feeling here that maybe you're just afraid that you made the wrong choice by, by deciding to sever things or by severing so quickly. I will tell you that if finances are your worry, you will be breaking even within the month, okay? You will be breaking even. So if you're afraid of where your next dollar is coming from, maybe you're not going to be able to pay your bills on time, you will. Okay, you will. You will. Knight of Cups. Four of Wands. Oh my God. Okay. Nine of Swords. That's that's okay. That's okay. Four of Cups. That's okay too. All right. So a little sad, I feel. Right. A little bit, Cancer. You might be feeling like you missed out on an opportunity. Right. By choosing this person, maybe you had to say goodbye to another person. That now, in hindsight, you're thinking to yourself, Man, why did I do this? Why did I ch why did I choose this? Why did I choose this person over that one? Maybe things would have turned out differently. No. Because I'll tell you something, if you do have a child involved or whatever this whatever this new beginning is, whatever this creation, this thing that you and this person may have started but didn't get to finish, but you get to finish it, this was supposed to result, right? This was, this was supposed to be brought into existence. And it could not have without that momentary, you might call it a lapse in judgment, you know, but this was on purpose. This was something that was supposed to come. So of all the decisions, of all the decisions to feel um, like you have to second guess, don't second guess how this came about. This was necessary. And if this, is, if this is, Cancer, like a personal um, evolution, this was supposed to happen this way. Absolutely. So don't, don't, um, don't get yourself down for that. All right. For some of you, you're thinking about going back to school and you're filling out applications right now, right? With the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, with the Page of Pentacles, all those Pentacles, but the Page tends to be the student, right? Six of Pentacles, you see them distributing, you're giving, right? Kind of at the mercy of other people's decisions, right? Like this person here. You have to ask for acceptance. Ask for something. So you could be applying to schools. Right? Could be applying for something. Right? It could be anything. Schools, WIC. For some of you, if this is about uh, money, right? It could just be tight right now. Things could really just be tight. Do what you got to do. You know, do what you've got to do. You're in a better place now for sure. Overarching energy. I oh, cancer. Ace of Cups. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Let's see what's popping off for our cancers. Let's see. So. Bravo. Ace of Pentacles being clarified by the world. This is a whole new chapter. Listen, cancer. Kiss the past goodbye, okay? Do whatever you have to do to get out of this old situation. If it's already coming to an end, please rest assured that this new beginning is about to rock your socks off. This block, what's this block? Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is about your role, right? This is about your role as, you know, as the ex-wife, the ex-husband, right? Um, could be connecting with an earth sign for some of you masculines that were connecting with a feminine, with a feminine energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But, you know, this is just things are at a standstill right now you're just kind of contemplating or this energy here is contemplating the pain that they've gone through as a result of the situation but here's the thing no matter which side of the energy you're sitting on masculine or feminine you are done right the situation is concluding there's nothing here to be revived there's no second chance here all parties are now um freed from whatever obligations were 
you know, at, at first being enforced by the contract at hand. Now you guys are are really finished because with the three of swords and the seven of and the seven of pentacles, there was something that was deemed just um, not worth the investment. Too much pain. Too much pain. It, it wasn't worth the suffering. In your heart, the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. The vision is clear for you, Cancer. The vision is clear. Please have no fear, darling. Have no fear, okay? If you feel the Ten of Cups in your heart, even though you're hurting from this past pain, your eyes are set exactly where they need to be. This new chapter is most definitely yours. Definitely yours. Look at this. Magi cancer. Listen, I know I've got some cross watchers out there that are really going through it with some some cancers and listen, cross watcher, if you are connecting with a cancer who has done you wrong and this person is not prospering, then I'm just not reading into that person's situation and if you are feeling spiteful and vengeful about the way things ended and you don't like how their new life is looking without you, understand that that requires a lot of healing and it's not for you to to damn this person to hell. Okay? So I'm just Cancer, I am very happy for you. I am very happy for you. Because there was obviously something in the recent past that was not fulfilling. S claims that were made about how things were going to be invested. What fairness was going to look like. What equal distribution over the responsibilities and affection was going to look like. And it, the promise was not upheld. It was not respected. And you let go of it. Someone here let go of it. And now you are coming out of that cycle. And good for you. Good for you. Okay, magician with the four of wands. Deciding, taking, making a conscious effort. Listen, you already have here the four of wands. Okay, you've got it twice on the board. A decision was made recently to, to take, take it upon yourself to create the life that you wanted. And that requires, unfortunately, you not being with the person that you left behind. Absolutely, the Hermit. So coming in, you've got the Three of Wands being clarified by the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. You're walking the path alone, and you don't care. If you have to, if you have to go this road alone, you will. And happily so. What you will be receiving, okay, what you will be receiving is peace of mind. Peace of mind and the opportunity now in your solitude to create a life that no one else can speak to. No one can tell you how to do this. No one can tell you how to play this role. No one can tell you where to move, what clothes to wear, how to correct your speech, what you should or shouldn't be eating. You know how to take care of yourself, Cancer. Okay? Obviously, this doesn't, you know, this doesn't go in alignment with those of you who are harming, um, you know, harming your bodies by putting unnecessary substances um, over, you know, really codependence to, to harmful substances. You know, in that case, that's a slightly different situation. I'm reading into a group of cancers right now that are looking at a situation that is for their for their fulfillment, for their happiness in the greatest sense of the term, for their greatest and highest good. Okay, ones that are really looking forward to being perfectly well-adjusted individuals outside of very toxic situations. This is about you not being afraid to go it alone. Okay, you're not afraid to go it alone. This is a new opportunity. You're getting insight now where you can have this life that you've always dreamt of having. I'd like to point out that at this point, your overarching energy is the Ace of Cups. Clarifying your heart space, you've got the Ace of Swords. You have the Ace of Wands coming up and the Ace of Pentacles is actually at the core of your reading. So I would just really like to point out that all four Aces are here on the table for you, Cancer. So for as out of reach as this future may have seemed to you, you are actually coming in. There's going to be some sort of moment or just, it's going to be like a day, a day or so after something has wrapped up a situation, a court hearing, something, a paperwork, a document has been submitted, a call has been made. There's going to be a moment of peace where you're sitting alone by yourself and you're saying, I'm officially alone. Now, any calls from here on out have to be you know, there has to be a reason that they've contacted me. Now, any correspondence from here on out, it's not about the court hearings. It's not about the documents. It's not about all the responsibilities that I owe somebody. Now, it's just, it's going to be keeping house, right? You've already reestablished the norms and the boundaries of this new life that you can defend to the fullest, right? And it's an opportunity now that you feel really excited about where you can create and explore and you really embark on these new desires and this new vision that you have moving into the future. 
and you see yourself like look at this you see yourself as the eight of cups with the ace of pentacles are you joking cancer oh my god you're pursuing this new beginning for some of you this is school look at this oh my god the page of pentacles with the ten of pentacles that's what i'm telling you guys listen if you're having a hard time financially it's going to come don't stop what you're doing it's going to come keep up the good work right you, you're 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 getting your feet back on the ground and that's that's perfectly that's perfectly understandable right if this is money and you have to go back to school in order to get a license that will afford you more money you will you will be successful in your endeavor okay for others of you right this is about waiting for that windfall of abundance so that you can take care of your little one or your little ones that is coming for others it's about meeting your soulmate partner all right you might there you might be in a relationship with someone who is a taurus virgo capricorn and i am getting this for some of you um that this person there's an age difference between between you and this person i feel like you are a feminine energy and this person is a masculine energy it doesn't necessarily have to be but that's just what i'm getting for most of you there's an age difference um but this person is a very like old soul like you and this person connect very well and they're not they're very mature for their age and they're about ready to settle down and you can't help but take an interest in them they may very well be your life partner okay um, but whatever this is, this new beginning, this offering, this nurturing that you're doing now with this new beginning, it's going to it's going to bear tremendous fruit, tremendous fruit. Okay, seven of wands with the queen of cups is presenting as your fear. So again, like you're you're kind of like you have to defend your choice over and over again. There might be people who are like, are you sure this is what you want to do? Are you sure that you um you know wanted to to really end things with that person? Are you sure? And you're like, um, I've never been more sure of anything in my entire life. Are you kidding? <laughs> All right your most likely outcome here is the six of pentacles clarified by the seven of swords the wheel of fortune and the five of pentacles so this is a big change it's a big change where before you were in a space of isolation you were in a space of that victim mentality not even victim mentality per se just like a, a, a hopelessness a hopelessness you know it's not that you were trying to um you know distribute blame to everyone but yourself all the time but you couldn't help but feel like if only there were greater insight that you had into the situation maybe there were things you could have avoided so it's just kind of like that 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 hopelessness that you felt every now and then like damn like this person is just they're so conniving right they're so conniving or not even the person doesn't even have to have bad intentions it's just the fact that you couldn't be clued in to the fact that you guys have di had difference of opinion like if only you had known that you and this person differed on certain fundamental truths if only you had known, then you would have decided things differently moving forward, right? So now you're in a position where everything is changing. A change of fortune, right? In terms of the pentacles, a change of heart and mind, right? You've got clarity now. You see what's coming in. And because you've changed, now that you are, you know, maybe you were isolated on some front from this person. And now things have become cordial, right or just you know the fact that you were without your child or without enough money to make your dream come alive without having the the means to 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 pursue this new beginning that has changed because you you have finally now the the ends are being met okay again the the conclusion of this situation that you're leaving behind the conclusion will give you what you need to move forward right while you were in it to just to stay in it it's been so taxing right it's been it's been extremely taxing and just it, it's drained you monetarily emotionally um mentally just in all the ways that matter right it's just completely drained you but now you're coming into this space right knight of cups four of wands for some of you you're connecting with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio here um let me see if i see any so we've got virgo energy here but yeah, so so nothing outright. Any one of those signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be connecting with, and you are very very happy. You could you're very smitten, right? This could be somebody that you've been connecting with outside of this situation, and it could be that the new beginning involves them, or Cancer, that is you just having your new beginning, and you know really enjoying this new job, enjoying this new you know hobby, enjoying these new people, enjoying this new person, whatever it is. Right, with the nine of swords and the four of, of cups being further clarifying, it's just like maybe on some level you you have anxiety around whether there was a missed opportunity, right? Maybe you shouldn't have done things the way you did. Maybe you shouldn't have ended this. Maybe you should have gone a different way earlier on. That's irrelevant. 
it's irrelevant, Cancer, because you're already on your way. You're already on your way. This, all four aces have appeared. The ace of a, the ace of Pentacles has appeared twice. You've got the the world here. You're showing up as the magician. The Ten of Pentacles is here. The Ten of Cups is here. Like, <sighs> Cancer, please, please, listen. You are doing perfectly fine. All right. Um, it definitely looks like the change has occurred in your favor. If you are in a space still where you are really bearing the weight of this ending, rest assured that that little, that little light at the end of the tunnel that you see is very quickly approaching. This kind of situation not only comes to an end, but it comes, it comes to an end drastically. Like right when you think, again, right when you think you, you aren't going to be able to make ends meet, you suddenly get this windfall of abundance that allows you to, to meet all of your bills or all of your obligations. For others of you, if it's not financial, right, you're just asking yourself, well, with this lack of stability, how am I going to even have the, the ability, right, to, to apply to these other programs or to do these other things and to be with these other people? I'm sorry, I'm like noticing these random hairs coming out. Oh my God, <laughs> Cancer, bear with me, my love. Oh Lord. Yeah, so it's going to be like any kind of resource that you thought you didn't have in order to bring about this new beginning. Like either you have been asking to receive something, gain acceptance into something, or to see if you qualify for something. And you're going to be receiving that very soon because that's what's coming in for you is this Ace of Wands. The result of your new beginning of you walking away is bringing you this new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles, okay? So whatever you having walked away has been the catalyst for all of your, your change of fortune. So, so just bear that in mind. Right when you feel like all of your efforts in trying to bring yourself from one world, drag yourself from one world into the next, it's, it, you're going to feel kind of like it's all been no for nothing, but you're going to see that the new beginning is, it's here. It's on your doorstep, right? It's on your doorstep. This is yours. And it's happening like very, very soon. You didn't even think, you didn't even see it, see it coming. Um, or maybe you were hoping it would come soon and it's coming even sooner than that. Okay. So you're all right, Cancer. You're okay. All these aces, the tens. I mean, okay, we're going to go over to the extended now. Okay. We're going to do a little bit more investigation here. So in the extended, we will see, for those of you who are kind of preoccupied with this particular person, we'll go in and see. You know, the person that you're ending things with will see what their feelings are towards you and what their intentions are towards you, right? If they are just kind of as done with the situation as you are. Um, these new, this, oh God, we're going to see also what this new beginning is going to look like, okay? New people, new new events, new, it's like so, whatever these new beginnings are, we're going to see if another, you know, ace comes up and then we'll explore a little bit what that might look like for you. We will also do kind of like a long-term long -term outcome for you outside of the situation after this resolves what is that you know even further not just the new beginning but your the, the long-term trajectory how you're going to feel in the long term um and the steps okay the advice coming out of this particular ending and making that real walk over the threshold from the old world to the new world all right so cancer thank you so much for for being with me um, thank you so much for your patience. My God, I'm having like a hair malfunction in the middle of video. Um, but thank you so much for being here, for letting me connect with you once again. I love you so very much. Thank you for everything. I will see you next time if I don't see you in the extended. And, um, and yeah, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And until next time, I am loving you with all of my heart. Mwah. I love you. Bye.